FatLipUSA.com. That was a blooper. I almost knocked over the bike. Great job, Mike. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Fat Lip USA BMX. Mike here. If you read the description up top, you can see that today we're going to be assembling this beautiful 1987 GT Pro Freestyle Tour. The holy grail of 1980s freestyle BMX bikes. This is my hottest selling package right now. Uh, it has been for the last four or five years. We do a lot of these. Customer opted to go with the neon pink, day glow pink, whatever you want to call it. They do offer another pink GT. It was bubble gum, a little bit, you know, lighter than this. But this one is awesome. Holy grail right here. Uh, like I said, customer opted to go with all air correct reproduction parts, original frame, original fork, everything else is reproduction. Keeps the cost down. We do offer upgrades for original restored parts. Um, some of our other customers, we're doing a chrome one right now for a customer. He went with all air correct reproduction parts. We have another pink one right here for another customer in another state doing it the exact same way as this one. And then uh, about an hour ago, we just took an order on to do a 1987 Pro Freestyle Tour in Dayglow Orange. More original parts with the uh, super laces, Tech 7 levers and 474 pedals, stuff like that. So I'm gonna get the head tube decals on here. I'm gonna get the down tube decals and uh, get the handlebar decals on there. We'll get it on the stand. We'll go over all the parts get this bad boy put together. I'm excited. If you need one built, man, go ahead and hit me on my email. That's Mike at FatLipUSA.com. I'll get you a quote. I ship worldwide, so it's not a problem. We can get you fixed up. Stick around because we're getting this bad boy put together. Okay, we're going to get the head tube decal installed. Just stick it, finger down the middle, and then just roll. This keeps all the air bubbles out, so it's just the way I do it. Same thing with the down tube. GT goes to the top. Roll your finger down the center. And just roll that way, roll this way. Then you're gonna put your USA Made sticker down at the bottom. Run your finger down the middle again. And then just roll and roll. You can go back over and make sure all the air bubbles are out and stuff like that. Pretty simple. Coin decal on the back right side of the bar. I usually put it a little bit towards the top. But we're going to do the same way. Finger down the middle and then just roll. The air bubbles, uh, they come out pretty easy. Now well, the Pro Performer decal goes on the bar. Just kind of eyeball it. I do. Or you can get some tape and measure it. Finger down the center and then just roll the top. And then I usually just like rolling the bottom a little bit. I don't ever have any problems this way. It uh, always works pretty good. Same thing with the seat post. Eyeball it where you like it. I usually put it towards the top a little bit. That way you get more seat adjustment. It doesn't rub your sticker down into the seat post mass. So just roll it around. You're good to go. Make sure all the air bubbles are out. You're good. Finished product here. I like it. We'll get this bad boy on the stand. So here we go. We're going to go over all the parts. We've got the Skyway Mags straight five spoke uh, GT reproduction seat, just like the Viscount. New seat guts, new GT brand LP5 GT logo tires. Uh, they have the old GT logo right there. So pretty cool. We've got a white two tone chain. Uh, powder coat. I powder coat my headsets white. And I'll do the stems. This is a of a reproduction stem of GT. We're going to put a coin decal on there. We're going to put gyro decal on this. The gyro is reproduction. Along with, let's see here. We got the pegs, those original uh, chainring. The heat upgraded to those pegs. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Chainring reproduction, GT brand reproduction power disc. We got the Diacomp <clears throat> Tech 5 levers, Diacomp 990 rear brakes, Diacomp 883 front brakes. GT bottom bracket, 22 millimeter. Got the GT power series cranks. These are awesome. AME grips, GT logo plastic pedals, reproduction uh, gyro cables. So that, a few other little things. You need some grease, some uh, specialty tools. Really, you can do it with anything in your house. We got a new freewheel, so stuff like that. New tubes, everything adds up. Got a reproduction die comp clamp. We're gonna slap that on. So we'll get all this ready to go on the 1987 GT Pro Freestyle Tour.
always make sure you wrap a rag around your frame. A lot of people clamp their seat post, turn that sideways, but then it kind of drops the bike down here. Me, I put it up here, make sure I wrap it. The top post good. Put it in my bike stand. Whichever way you feel comfortable, it's just the way I do it. Not saying it's the right way, not saying it's the wrong way, but I feel comfortable doing it this way. That's the way I've done it for many, many years. We'll just get this set up on a time lapse, kind of go from there. guys gals that's it the 1987 gt pro freestyle tour is almost complete i had to stop it a little bit early i still need to do the 990 brakes i got them on there and the cables ran and everything i just need to uh get them all the way hooked up front brakes are done uh yeah just spent a little bit more time i noticed the video was getting a little long on the time lapse so i didn't want to kind of bore you with all that probably will do another video on the 990 brakes i know it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes so that'll probably help a lot of you out that's building these bikes um i would think so if you know how to do it already too, that's cool. Drop a comment in the box below. Let me know how you do it. I know how I'll do it. Just gotta put the grips on. I'll do that very last, just like I do the decals. I put those on very first and the last thing goes on the very last is the grips. So we'll do that. Uh, front fork standards, check the gym. Customer ordered those. Just came back from powder coat. We gotta get them in here tomorrow. Get the rivets on them. Add the rear pegs, because he ordered those too. And uh, this bike will be pretty much complete, man. We'll go over, kind of torque everything up, double check everything, get it in the photo booth, take some pictures, 
take it for a little spin, make sure everything's good, get it back on the stand, and then I partially disassemble, get it ready to go to the new customer because I know he wants this bike. He's probably watching this video and he's like, dude, shit my bike. So I am. Anyways, we'll get that done. That way we can get all these other projects done. We're still waiting on parts, uh, stuff from powder coat, chrome shop, gold plate, and stuff like that. I have tons of builds going on for people all over the world. So we stay busy. I just wanted to take the time and show you uh, how I do these bikes. Uh, right now, we don't have any plans on selling any of the parts online, uh, except for like some of the smaller parts, like the GT Power Series cranks, the power disc, you know, some tires. We will be selling this 44 tooth chain ring in white. That way you put on your power disc and it kind of, you know, gives it that old school look and the gearing, stuff like that. There's other great companies out here that sell all the parts to get this bike together. I'm just not one of them. I sell the complete bikes. I have my hands full enough with that. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Helps the channel out tremendously. Uh, the channel is growing like crazy. We're getting tons of views, subscribers every day. So it's cool, man. I want to thank y'all for the support. Um, people are very interested in what's going on over here at Fat Lip USA. So thank y'all, okay? We got more stuff coming, I promise. You got any comments on this video? Drop them in the box. Good, bad, we don't care, we read them all. Everybody keeps me going at this, and it's fun, man. It's the ultimate fountain of youth. If you can build your bike yourself, I recommend you doing that because it is the ultimate fountain of youth. It brings the kid out in you and makes your kid self jealous. If you don't have time, hit me at my email, mike at fatlipusa.com, and I'll get you a quote, man. Like I said, this is our starting package on the 87 Pro Freestyle Tours. We do offer the regular performers and stuff like that. So, hey, hit me up, we'll get you a quote and uh, get you taken care of. Y'all, we'll see you on the next video. I hope you like this episode. Fat Lip USA, BMX. Peace. <laughs>